Hi guys, this is Dr. Matti, and plenty of you have been asking me about medic gameplay, mainly because this is a class I don't play all that often. However, I did actually get a hundred service stars, um, I guess, a couple of months ago with the Farko Harhill, and then I forgot to upload this video or edit this video. Actually, I'm also cooking right now, so I'm in a little bit of, uh, yeah, it's a little bit stressful here, but uh, I'll give you some of the rundowns here. Now, one of the things that I really like about playing Medic is this auto revolver. I'm actually getting quite a number of kills with it every once in a while. At least until somebody stabs me with whatever melee weapon this is. Let's see. It's the Yatagan. Yatagan. Yatagan sword. Alright. Now, historically, when it comes to battlefield games, the medic class, which also sometimes have been called assault class, uh, or, well, the medic class have been given to assault, it has historically been very, very overpowered. I, I remember playing Bad Company 2, for example, and everyone was you, you know we have medic only squads all the time and uh, the biggest problem would be when you run out of ammo if you're doing good enough to last that long now, battlefield 1 was in my opinion the first uh, battlefield uh, the first successful battlefield where they actually were able to change that and make the medic class a bit more balanced now being able to keep your uh, squad mates uh, alive and reviving them and healing them is probably the most important part of battlefield in well i'd say probably half the situations however combining it with at least one support and in some cases or well normally on uh, vehicle maps i uh, prefer to have two assault two medics and one support that way you cover as much of the necessary parts of being successful as a squad um, we've tried a lot of different uh, variables or different uh, unit compositions but that was the one that I found to be the overall most uh, effective that is also of course taking in consideration that in a battlefield you already have such an enormous amount of snipers it's normally an unproportional amount of snipers so adding that into my unit composition my choice of squad uh, unit composition wasn't really that attractive and I know there was a bit of discussions about that. Yeah, the Forco Hall Hill is uh, one of the few medic weapons that I actually have 100 service stores with now. Um, I think it's uh, the one of the other ones is the Fyodorov, the trench version, and perhaps, uh, you know what, it's actually just those two weapons, I believe, at this point. Maybe that's going to change, who knows. Unrelated to that, I just read a Twitter post about how the EA CEO Andrew Wilson has been playing the next Battlefield game. This with the development team and his, uh, his spontaneous reaction, I guess, or his uh, words of choice was tremendous live service. Now, I'll admit that this is a terminology that I am rather unfamiliar with, but what do I know? I've been playing games for over 10 years. How could I recognize the way you describe a new game as a CEO? Anyway, I am one of those people that have high hopes for the new Battlefield whenever it comes live, and I've been looking forward to uh, the first beta test whenever that happens. Normally, that is a few months before the actual release. So, uh, yeah, hopefully this is positive news. I'm, I'm taking this as positive news for now. Yes, I know a lot of people have expressed their doubts and their frustration over the titles Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 2042. I would say this. It couldn't possibly get any worse, could it? Oh wait, haven't I said that before? So, I hope you will enjoy some medic gameplay, Farko Har Hill, 100 service stores, here we go. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll find another medic weapon to farm up until we get a new game. Thanks for watching my friends, and I hope I will see you guys in the next live stream. Ich helf dir! Ah! Oh, from behind. <laughs> that wasn't the guy that I was fighting.
We have lost objective Duff. We have lost objective Apples. One more. <clears throat> it's like Thailand, but less tourist. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for. In many aspects, that's what I'm looking for. Objective Edward. Who's the score? Hold on. Who's the score? Objective Butter. We have taken Objective Charlie. Voilà. Mais trouve le score. As a teacher in Vietnam, okay. What a hiding spot! Watch your truck. Yeah, spot an M for you. Yeah, I'm getting sniped at. Yeah, yeah, the auto truck shifting you. I couldn't hit him, oh. How? Where? Under the bridge, under the bridge, under the bridge. There's one more under the bridge somewhere, maybe? I don't think so. I killed a few. Right. Oh, on, on the bridge then, on the bridge. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Somebody here somewhere. On the back. They're in the smoke here. I guess. I killed one. They don't see. <laughs> Oh, what? That was a bug. I got killed. They killed you. That's a bug. Yeah, no, they didn't kill me. I, I, I was throwing a grenade and. up my house but I got another service oh, oh, hello Rishvik revive you again Erste Hilfe! Ich krieg dich wieder hin! Erste Hilfe! 
Ich hoffe, das Zeug nützt was. Strange Warfare. Hier, er ist der Hilfe. Du kommst du auf die Beine. Hier, er ist der Hilfe. Du bist verletzt. Ich kann dir helfen. Ich sehe mir das an. Für dich, Kamerad. Erste Hilfe. Aptischke, <lacht> That is the one thing you can say about American service, though. There's a lot more going on in the chat than uh, on European service. Oh! That was a long shot. Is that my final service store? I don't know. I can't actually revive him there. Prends cette trousse de secours! Quelqu'un peut me soigner? Contrôle-nous! 
Ah. Oh, cette trousse de secours Got one more, I knew I was gonna die there. Alright, I got a hundred service stars with the uh, Farquhar Hill obstacle. 